Flames of War brings you the battles of World War II in epic 15mm scale. Go to the hub on beastsofwar.com to find news, tactics and tutorials about the game. From Viking halls to the cities of the future, terrain buffs will love our foreground hub. Watch gaming tables of all genres come to life at beastsofwar.com. Okay, so hi guys, myself and Dave are back for a little bit more Forge World. You've actually given me a piece of Warhammer Forge here. Yeah, so you I don't do enough of that. A little bit of fantasy then? Yep, I like, I like my fantasy. Yeah, so it's another event only mini, it's a Chaos Dwarf Sorcerer. So uh, I'm going to have to cut this open, so every collector out there is just going, No, no, don't, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. I'm doing it. 15 plus again as well. Yeah, I find that a little weird that they've actually put an age rating on some of the minis. They've probably figured out that they're dangerous. Or, or they've just figured out that anyone under 15 isn't really going to understand what they have. Nope. Don't worry, I haven't cut myself. <laughs> no, no blood for the blood god just yet. Dang. Ah, uh, denied. Okay, so, let's see. Ah, square base. Well, it is Warhammer Fantasy. I'm not sure if you'll have to change that with the changes that we're seeing in Fantasy now. I think yeah. I think Games Workshop have said you'll still be able to play on the square bases, but if we move to the round base, it's an aesthetic choice more than anything. So uh, let's have a look at this little dude. He's got the funny hat. Why, why the funny hat? Castle Wars have funny hats. Yeah, they do. Not they, as funny as they used to be. Really? It used to be a lot bigger. I suppose I've seen a few of them at John yeah. Stallard with the really big weird ones. But again, it's, it's Forge World, there's a ton of detail. What the hell is this weapon? It looks like an axe on the end, doesn't it? It's, it's like, like they've a, turned an axe blade around the wrong way. Guys, if there's a specific name for this, please let me know. But it's just, it's chock full of detail, is it? And again, it's Forge World, it's a painter's dream. If you love doing your armour work, you're going to love it. It's really nice. So, let's set him like that, like he's doing a little dance. So we'll put him to the side. He's then got weapons, so he's got he's a got hand. flamey hand. Yeah, flamey hand. And what appears to be some kind of bow like. It looks like a bat left. Bat left, yeah. <laughs> Kapla! I don't know, I'm, I'm sure it, it probably goes on somewhere. In fact, I think I know exactly where it goes. You see the little pinhole on his head here? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Yeah, so that it comes little, out across. Yeah, yeah. that's definitely yeah, that's so the big it, hat. Yeah, yeah. so if, if he decides to put his head down and charge, he's got a couple of blades up there just to take you right in the midriff. Or, depending on how tall you are, perhaps lower. I was going to say, because he's already quite short, isn't he? He's already quite at the right height. Yeah, he, yeah that's, that's just going to go in, hook the legs, and that's going, shwink! And everybody just cringed. He's a really nice little mini. Uh, okay. I wish they did more of the Swarm of Forge stuff. Really? Yeah. I, I, guess, I guess you like it. I mean, like, the, did you pick up the, the land ship when it came out? No, I didn't. I did that. It was a lovely miniature, though. I, I remember uh, my buddy Mike in England picked one of them up. It was just, he said it was a gorgeous build. A few tricky bits, but that's what you expect from Fort World. There's a challenge to it more than anything. Okay, so this is our Death Corpse of Krieg, Commiss Quartermaster. I was going to say Commissar, nope. Uh, is a, another event only mini. Is this an older event? This yeah. Is, this is an older one, yeah. Uh, so you can't get this, but you can at least e have eBay. a look eBay. at eBay. it. Let's put it on eBay. Yeah, you're not going to put this on eBay. I've just opened it. Be valued! <laughs> Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't, 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 don't. Sorry, I'm, I'm just... Ah, oh. I almost got myself. See, for all of our younger viewers out there, be very careful working with your craft knife because you can cut your hand off. Well, not off, but you can put a, a pretty hefty slice into it if you're not careful, so... Okay, here he is. He's a gorgeous man. Oh, he's lovely. I love the fact that he's got one hand down to his holster and they've actually sculpted it as it's empty. Mm. And then he's got this sort of bone, you know, rib cage uh, chest guard on him. It's really nice. The cloth work on the cloak is beautiful. He's got his rebreather up the top and he's got that cl uh, classic Death Corps uh, gas mask on him. He's then got, okay, that's a surprise. He's got two weapon options. So you can have him with a plasma pistol or a bolt pistol, or plasma pistol, pistol or plasma pistol. What do you think, Dave? What would you rather have? Obviously, I'd rather go for the plasma pistol, but I actually really love the way they've sculpted the plasma pistol. It seems very delicate. Yeah, it, it actually looks like a, a human skilled gun, almost a true skill gun. Mm. Well, I suppose most of Forge War stuff is more true skill, isn't it? 
It's, it's very, very nice. And again, I love the story behind the Death Corps of Krieg, that they're going to battle <coughs> believing they're already dead. Yeah. You know, uh, there was a, a short story I read, uh, Dead Men Walking, which actually followed a regiment landing on a planet and actually doing their business and actually recruiting from the local populace. And it followed this one guy from the local populace who actually got completely into the Death Corps mindset. And whenever everybody pulled out, his world was left completely destroyed. Mm. And it was just him sighing, picking up the lats rifle and just being right back to work. Mm. You know, it's, it's a very dark and gritty sort of faction of the Imperial Guard. Or Astra Militarum. Astra Sorry. Militarum. Naughty. Uh, but they're really cool. I really love them. They're one of my favorites next to the Alicia drop troops. Mm. I, I think they just look so sci-fi. You know, they're, they're a little cleaner than everything else. Okay, what is this? This is the Skylax Guardian Automata. You know, some people have complained that there's a, a certain amount of elitism when it comes to Fort World, but I don't see it that way. I just see it as these are the top end, the most beautiful minis you're going to get your hands on from the 40k universe. You know, that's not to knock anything that GW do. They do beautiful stuff as well, yeah. but Fort World, there's just that sense they, of they've a got bit of... Own, they've got, definitely got their own design flourishes. Yeah, they're, they're just a bit more flash, shall we say. There's a lot of bits in there, aren't there? Wow. Uh, okay. Uh, well, let's get stuck in. You've got four bases in the box of the, the nice 30 millimeter ones, or 32 mil ones. 32 mil, isn't it? Yep, 32 mil. So you'll be getting four of these in the pack, which is handy enough. Uh, so first up, we have the main bodies. These are quite nice. There's a lot of detail on these. I assume these aren't exactly humanoid. No, they're like they're full on robots. Yeah, so these are, well, again, have they stuck brains into them or something? Or have you read back there on is, them yet? There is basically no, there's no rules for these yet. Okay. There's no rules for these, so I, I know very little about them. Mm. The only thing I did find out was that these are meant to have like an, a tech priest accompanying them. Right. Kind of keeping them in control. Ah, I see. But whether that actually happens or not, I don't know. As, right. as it is at the moment, I know nothing about them. Mm -hmm. uh, well, let's, uh, let's have a look here. We've got, wow, uh, big cable bundle. That's what they walk on. So they work on like mechadrites? Yeah. Or if I've said that right, I hope. Uh, basically, it's that long since I've really looked much at the 40k universe. Some of the, the wordings are just blah, 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 blah. But it's another beautiful sculpt. It's all the, the cool little details you see in the different cables. And I think these are pretty much all individual sculpts. You're getting four individual sculpts on the stands, mm. which is really cool. I like them because they remind me of the, uh, the tentacle things out of the Matrix. Yes, 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 yes. Or in the, the main city, whenever Neo gets yep. hooked back up to do the final fight with Smith. Everyone loves the Mechandrites. Yeah, yeah. Well, like, you always hear them mentioned, but you never really get a great visual it's sense now we're of seeing them. them. With the Horus yeah. Heresy stuff, we're seeing full-on Mechandrites coming out of everything Yeah, yeah I, I've heard them described in the novels, but I could never properly picture them. Mm. You know, th this gives you a really good idea of what they would look like. Well, it gives you an idea of exactly what they look like, because that's what they are. Okay, we then have, ooh, are these going to be bandied? Yeah, from what I've been told, from what pictures I've been able to get of them, uh -huh. these are going to be bent to whatever shape you want. Right. Because otherwise they're all going to be sticking out like big spikes. Yeah, and you get three sprues of those. So I assume they just divide down amongst them all. Definitely gives you a lot of yeah, you've there's got stuff, little needles and yeah, you've got clampy things, chainsawy things. Yeah, you've almost got what you would look to be an apothecarian set of gear on there. So it's it's very very cool. And then these I assume are some kind of shock things, and then you have all the little little clamps and stuff, which are really really nice. It's really detailed, guys. I'm very impressed with these. So we'll put those out of the way. We then have uh, ooh, ooh, tons and tons and tons of tool. Extension pieces. Some of them are like weapons, aren't they? Some of them like, look like almost some like of them auto are, guns and some stuff. Some of them look like weaponry. Others look like uh, toolkits. So if we can pull them all up into shot. There we go. So what all do we have here? This looks like a bit of a bolter. Something stripped down. We've got little claws, another gun. Uh, oh, we've actually got one of their faces here. Or is that a servo skull? No, I think that's one of their heads. It's right here on the end. So yeah. this here. One on there as well. Yeah. So, they're very cool. So there looks to be something human about them. So they're... Yeah, it would be. There's another two heads over there. That is yeah. the heads. Yeah, so there's something... There's some human they, force they controlling might actually, them. They might actually be servo skulls, like servo skull heads, as you'd imagine. Yeah, or just they might be a, a combat servitor. Mm. Yeah, we're, we're not sure yet, guys. So, really, this is all guesswork. But you've got 
these with the, the two sets of guns, which are very nice. He's then got tons and tons of chain and saw blades. That'd be sorry stuff. Yeah, these are these are actually going to look really individual because it's I think it's four different sculpts you have for those. I'm quite fond of the uh, the circular the saw. Circular saw. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There's not nothing quite like that's a Robot Wars. Saw. That is. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh no! I actually got to do a little thumbing down in the the Robot Wars place when I was at school. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you remember the techno games used to be on? Yeah. Uh, it was like Robot Olympics. Yeah, yeah I went to that one in school. It was kind of oh, cool. Okay, cool. Uh, okay, so oh sorry, uh, bit of a side note, guys. Oops. Segway. Uh, so. We have more clampy bits, so these are sort of like servo harness arms. I'm guessing. Yeah. This is all guesswork. Yeah, this is all guesswork. I don't think we're going to build any of these because they, they look really complicated, guys. I'll give it a go. If I can, I will. Okay, okay. <laughs> uh, right, well, you've got your other two heads in the clampy bits, so there's a lot to those. Uh, Dave, I'm honestly going to say, mate, let's not try and build those simply because you have to heat and bend certain components, mm. and I think it would just... It will be an absolute nightmare for you to do without your proper full kit at home. Mm. So guys, I think we're going to call it at that. Uh, that was some more really, really nice minis. So, bye guys. See you later. In a world controlled by massive corporations, a steady aim and split-second decisions are needed for your Megacon to complete its goals. Begin your missions at the Mercs Hub on BeastsOfWar.com. Keep your blaster handy, the West is a dangerous place. Fight to survive as men turn to monsters and the dead rise on the Wild West Exodus Hub at beastsofwar.com.